ACC play officially kicks off at high noon today. Welcome inside Doak, everyone. Alongside Ryan Pensy, I'm Scott Kodak. And Ryan, when ACC play begins, it's the most important time of the year for Florida State. Can you measure how important this game is for the Florida State football team? Well, I know a lot of the attention has already turned to next week to Clemson, but that game doesn't mean anything if you don't win this week. And Florida State has struggled with Wake Forest over the last six games. We've only won four of the last six. Last year, Florida State uh, went in with some injuries, was still able to keep it close, but it ended up losing. It was the third straight loss. If you want to win this conference, if you want to get to Charlotte, you've got to win these interdivisional games, and that starts today. Wake Forest is a team that I think a lot of people may be overlooking. I don't think that's the same thing, though, for this Florida State coaching staff and these players. They realize how good this team is. You're absolutely right. When we talked to the players and Coach Fisher this week, it really seemed like this team has nothing but Wake Forest on their mind. They have nothing but on their on their mind than starting 1-0. But in their way is a guy named Tanner Price. Uh, this young man, when you talk to Coach Fisher, he knows how good he is in the pocket. Let's talk about that misdirect Wake Forest offense. And Tanner Price, the last time he came in here, he's going to be a completely different quarterback. No, you're right, Scott. And I think that the, the thing that Coach Fisher said on his call-in show this week was it reminds him of this new offense of a little bit of the Clemson that we saw last year. I watched the highlights from last week's game against North Carolina, and Wake Forest is, is sneaky fast. And I think that's the thing that you're not going to realize is that misdirection and how quick they're able to get over. And, and with a player like Campanero who leads the country with 23 receptions, you always have to account for him. It's going to be a big game to see who can pick him up in the secondary today. Let's talk a little bit about the loss of Nikita Whitlock because uh, excuse me, Wake Forest is not going to have him today. Arguably their best defensive player, that nose tackle position. How important is that loss for that defense? Well, it's a huge loss for him, and I think that that's going to be somewhere that's going to be affected. And, and I'm also looking to see as how is the Wake Forest offensive line going to be able to hold up against this vaunted Florida State defensive front. I think the game could be determined right there up front on both sides of the ball. You know, if Florida State doesn't have much of a pass rush coming uh, from Wake Forest, they're going to be able to take advantage of that and vice versa. If Wake Forest can't stop this Florida State pass rush, it's going to be a long day for the Demon Deacons. Ryan, let's get right to it. Keys to the game. What does Florida State need to do to start out 1-0 in ACC play? I'd love to see a couple of big plays early on. Get the offense going. Make sure that Wake Forest doesn't have any momentum. If you look back to last week, Wake Forest was able to hang around even after it looked like they'd been able to knock Bryn Renner out of the game. They just kept fighting and fighting and fighting, and, and they were able to win the game late in the, in the contest. You don't want to give Tanner Price the opportunity late in the game to drive his team down the field. He's proven it already this season. He can do that, and this is going to be a big opportunity for Florida State. We really haven't seen what this Florida State offense and defense and special teams can do against an, an actual valuable opponent. Not to take anything away from Savannah State and Murray State, this is completely different football this week. I'm looking forward to seeing what the Florida State offense can put together. To me, it's two things. One is that offensive line for Florida State. This, like you said, this is the first time our line is really going to be tested. I think when you look at it, if we can establish the running game, a guy like Chris Thompson making his return after that broken back last year, a guy like, guy like James Wilder, Devontae Freeman, we get the running game going, we're going to be able to churn out a lot of yards. And the second thing is, if you look back at all the all the history between Florida State and Wake Forest, you have to win the turnover battle. Florida State is minus 15 in the past six games. That's almost unbelievable. If we can limit the turnovers and not turn the ball over, I think we'll walk out of here with a win today. Yeah, I agree with you. And let's not forget what E.J. Manuel said on Monday during his press conference. Florida State had only opened up 3% of their playbook so far in the first two games. Who knows what we're going to see today. Big game coming up at high noon inside here at Doak Campbell Stadium. Ryan Pensy and the IMG Sports Network crew go on the air at 10 a.m., two hours prior to kickoff. If you want any information about today's game, you want to visit Seminoles.com Game Day Central, Seminoles.com forward slash game day. Have a great game. We'll see you after the game.